Be more girly. What are you talking about? Yes, I'm the girliest girl out there. Who are you, big guy? Who are you? I'm, I'm not. I'm her you. husband, by the way. You want to play? Play what? With me. What's the reason you and your ex broke up? I posted a stupid thing on my Snapchat and he got mad. Because of Snap you guys broke up? Yeah. You were sad about that? Yeah. Who broke up with who? He broke up with me. Just for a Snap? Yeah. But like how stupid was it? Was it provocative? I made a joke that I had Come on, man. He told me he's not feeling it. Okay, this is kind of a gray area because relationships shouldn't end as a joke, but was it really a joke or was she just bragging about her side man? Just my opinion. You know that has three kids and I don't think because I have kids. If you date a guy with no kids, will you make him a baby daddy? No, I can't do that. No, whoever's with me has to accept my kids and then like they have to accept the fact that I won't have their kids. That's it. And they say double standards don't exist. Here is a perfect example. Ask the ladies to rate themselves on a scale of one to 10. I'd say I'm a 10. 10, uh, 10. 10. 10. 10. <clears throat> Send the asteroid. Y'all are, come on, 10s. Absolutely. What would you rate yourself, Brian? Six, 6.5 on a good day. Hubris, like delusional to rate yourself as a 10. Wow. So y'all are perfect. Yep. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bruv, come on. If you guys are tens, then there's no girl that's better looking than you. I love all women. Every girl is a ten. <laughs> I don't. Every woman. Every is woman's a ten. a ten. Is every guy a ten? No, absolutely not. Hold up. Whoa. <laughs> every woman's a ten, but not every guy's a ten. It's just because I love women. I'm gonna wow. be honest. I'm not gonna rate you guys, but none of you are a ten. <laughs> you just rated us. No, I'm, I'm not gonna give not you, but none of you are tens. That's, that's fine. fine. Yeah, we That's didn't your ask. <laughs> Okay, here's the deal. I feel like perfect tens don't actually exist because nobody is perfect. And if you think you're perfect, you have no room to grow into yourself. Let me guess, you didn't know she was married, did you? Who are you, big guy? Hey, look, my wife just walked out of that motel. Everybody's a married woman. Who are you, big guy? Who are you? I'm, I'm not. I'm her husband, by the way. That's not yep. married. Yeah, go away. Oh, we've been arguing for two weeks, but she's officially split up. I'm glad I just got my kids. Thank you very much. You your kids. I've lived in my own house for over here. Get in y'all's ride. Thank you. Hey, everybody, I'm fixing to make you famous, Bambi. You too, whoever you are. Go away. This is going to be wonderful. Next time, turn 360 off on your son's phone that tried to get a hold of you all night long. Both of them crying. I want to go to mom's. You're a real piece of Enjoy that. Lay hands on me. There won't be nothing to you, boy. Your kids are with my mom. Everybody never get a wife like this because they wake up with a stranger. Look on YouTube. You'll find it. Goodbye, guys. All right, you guys can't even blame this guy for doing this because all he needs to do now is simply get a prenup. That's the reason you and your ex my broke up. I broke up with my ex because she didn't know how do I like my coffee. Oh I my. like my coffee <laughs> the same way I do like my girl without other people. You know, it's an evil world we live in. I mean, that's just the best way to have coffee. What's up, my guys? You gotta stop holding on to relationships just because you're scared to be alone. I've done it, we've all done it, but it gets you nowhere. We always talk about how toxic guys can be, but girls can be worse. If this is the state of your relationship, peace out, Girl Scout. You're waiting for her to change. You should never wait for someone to change. The only way someone can truly change is when they're on their own. The one thing we can't get back in life is time. So why are you wasting yours? Number two, you've made a pro and con list enough said she wants you to change never compromise who you are for someone else if she wants somebody that weighs 30 pounds less likes baseball and has an entirely different fashion sense don't worry there's someone out there for her and there's a girl out there who will treasure you for you everything is your fault and never hers you're waiting for things to go back to how they were in the beginning of the relationship are you gonna spend the rest of your life living in the past you're not attracted to her harsh but it's reality. You can't convince yourself of something that just doesn't feel right. And you also can't reproduce. You feel like you're settling. You should be with a partner that you worship in every aspect. Their intelligence, looks, the way they treat you. If you settle for a partner, you're gonna settle for everything else in life. And lastly, there's a lack of trust. It's not something that'll disappear overnight. Everything she's saying is extremely helpful to keep in mind because these are signs that your relationship is failing. What's the reason you and your ex broke up? She was so mean to me and it was horrible. She was mean well, to I'm you. his ex. <laughs> <laughs>
we were on the Amalfi Coast, and on my birthday, and she went like, all right, you know what? Let's break up. And I was like, fair. And now you guys are what, friends? Yeah, we went to Egypt together, and now things are like kind of chill, I guess. Yeah, are you guys working back on getting it back together? No. <laughs> but like... We're friends. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay, this is extremely confusing, and I think this is why relationships don't last as long as they used to, because of stupid stuff like this. Some of you guys need to know the difference between a friend and a significant other. You're very nice. Oh, thank you. You're, yeah, you're really nice. You're, you're really cute. nice, too. Um, but I feel like your stick is gonna be nicer. What's the, what? this stick? Yeah, this stick. Yeah, yeah, this stick, yeah. You wanna play? Play what? With me? Cool, yeah. Yeah, sure. okay, all right. Because I, I can make it really hard. It's already hard, it's wood. All right, let's just leave this guy alone to play pool in peace. Like, she's trying way too hard, and it's super cringe. Would love to have one with me 100%. Mm. I just don't think it's out there. For me, 26-year-old Dominican, gorgeous. You out here with totones? Okay. Mr. So she asked me for 25000 Damn. She's a real one. Let's make some noise, bro. <laughs> 25000 I was like... Where does she get off asking me for 25000 And then in the back of my head, I'm like, this is the tip of the iceberg. Mm. 100%. If she's my girl, mm. that means she going to ask, I need a hundred. Mm. Her mess. Get all of this money for my family <coughs> to have some bad come around and just start siphoning it out. That's mm. never happening, y'all. <laughs> So that's why I just, I don't think it's in the cards for me. Mm. I don't know if I could find someone who I'm going to be attracted to that's like a nice, good person. Right. And you So know, you say you got your guard up all the time? You have to. Okay. Well, I guess money makes the world go around and obviously it can buy love, which is totally sad and fake. A man has just gone and said on, on the internet, yes, on a podcast, that he does not believe in, he does not believe in monogamy. He believes in sleeping with multiple people at one time. Yes, yes, he's gonna make this, no one, he's gonna make this, um, um, he's gonna make this announcement, right? So on that basis, I've simply said, well, if you believe in that, then you may want to test your kids because if you allow your wife to sleep with multiple people at one time, how do you know those kids are yours? What like you I said. Um, is that not just a, a simple like you just told me you let your wife sleep with as many men as she I'm wants? Not married, okay. Your girl, you you let your girl sleep with as many people as she wants, and then you've got and like a baby. I said, because I'm me, girls don't sleep no, with other people. Okay. It's wild to me how much people try to twist around the meaning of a relationship. At the end of the day, nothing is gonna work unless you guys stay between each other. Man, it never ceases to amaze me how much people think the world revolves around them. So while I tell you the story, I'm going to make a high protein peanut butter French toast. Next day I'm hanging out with her. She tells me she gave her friend Tony $100 to go to Whataburger and he never came back. So we got to go to Tony's. At Tony's, he starts smashing the door down like Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Tony opens the door. Man looks like Stone Cold Steve Austin and he's shaking like a leaf. Olivia, here's your stuff. She grabbed him by the throat. If you ever do that again, I will effing you. I should have left at this point. So I asked her what was in the bag. She said diet pills, but these pills look like glass. And whenever she went to the bathroom, it smelled like a Baytown refinery. We go to meet a friend of hers, Brad, in his condo. We walk inside his place. The walls were painted neon green and someone painted melting clocks everywhere. I should have left her immediately. So after her whispering in the corner with somebody and handing them a bag, we leave. As we leave, we pass a bunch of police. Brad eventually gets five years in prison. I gotta end this relationship. So I have the tough conversation. She breaks down crying. Says she quit for three weeks after she met me. Then she tells me the reason she can't have a real job is because she spent two years in a state prison by the border for smuggling 40 pounds of marijuana. After three more months of insanity and almost losing my life with an ophthalmologist who used to do eye surgery while on that, I finally got out. This is actually one hell of a story because it's totally heartbreaking to find out someone that you love and are so close to is actually a drug addict low key. If a girl never argues with you, is jealous of you, and doesn't send dramatic long text messages, you're with the man. Okay, don't do this to me. Don't make me lose hope because there are women that exist like this. They're just extremely hard to find. You said 
and my eyebrows what? Um, KFC wedges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. You made this shirt? You got it made. You got it made or you yeah. made it? The, I made it. It's coming off, but. Yeah, you give me zesty vibes. And it's your chain room. Huh? Your chain room? No, nope, it's not. But you're looking at the chain, not the. I don't give problem. a fuck. Dude, that's the problem. I like that stuff. You? Yes. <laughs> no, he like, he's dusty. Like, yeah, that's what I said. Like, you. you look like you could be my, not I could be your. Bitch. Why is she so angry and claiming that he's gay? Maybe she's just projecting. Who knows? And said it's something along the lines of, "How do you feel about being a stay-at-home mom?" And she was like, "Well, it's a job because a mom is doing the job of a nanny." And I was like, "Did you just say to me?" <laughs> I had to watch it like three separate times. This woman was on the hill that being a mother is a job because a mother would be doing the job a nanny does. So tell me you're rich without telling me you're rich. A nanny does the job of a mother. Right. But when you're very wealthy, right. you don't raise your kids, a nanny does it. Right. God, I hate humanity so much. All right, Jesus, it's time. Right, but We're ready for you, bro. Like, anytime you're ready to come back and just end this. Exactly as he said. Tell us you're rich without actually telling us that you're rich. And she just told you. Dude, do you have a Band-Aid by any chance? Uh, no, I don't. You have a Band-Aid? No. Because I scraped my knee falling. I don't have a Band-Aid. I scraped my knee falling for you. Yeah, I don't have a Band-Aid. Okay. I love the fact that he didn't even notice that this was a pickup line. He still thinks that she needs a Band-Aid. Baby. What? For the last time, can you just please just be more girly? What are you talking about? Just I'm be... the girliest girl out there. Well, not really. That's like what guy girls wear. Well, this, those are just comfortable. Well, but like my hair and my makeup and literally our apartment is like covered in pink. Well, your hair is a little crazy. You kind of look like Thor, baby. You're Thor? growing it out. Well, yeah. everybody thinks Thor is hot, so that's a compliment. You just need to get more girly now. I am the girliest girl. Do you not see the pink literally license plate? Okay, I'm tired of you making me wear that. 